guys, Tanner here with my top five movies of 2010. Now, this is my list and my opinions. Um, this doesn't stand. Well, it stands for me how I feel, and I love movies. And this has been a really good year for movies. There's been great movies like The Expendables or Resident Evil Afterlife. Iron Man 2, Get Him to the Greek, um, Inception, Predators, I think I said Predators, um, Tron Legacy was another good one, Harry Potter, part one of the Deathly Hollows was good, um, I don't know, I kind of forget some, I don't know if you count Avatar as one, I seen it this year, in February so I think it came out 2009 and went so on so I guess you could count it and they did re-release it with extended features not features a uh, film but this is my list so I'll start off with number five is Predators this was a really good movie in my opinion I enjoyed this a lot I can watch it so many times. I love the Predator movies. And this is really good after Alien vs. Predator Rec Room, which wasn't good, in my opinion. So, this coming out made the Predators better. And I enjoyed the whole movie. I feel like the action was awesome. The fight scene with the, like, classic Predator, that's what I call it, and the Berserker Predator, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> now number four I don't own it but it is The Social Network and that is a really good movie I just the story was told well and really it's just the making of Facebook but I loved the whole movie the whole movie was great so it's one of my favorite movies this year <laughs> uh, number three for best movie is get him to the Greek. I don't have it right now. Comedy is a really big thing in movies, and everyone enjoys comedy. And I think they really nailed it with get him to the Greek. And I think it was the best comedy movie this e this year, and hopefully many more to come next year. Like The Hangover Two is coming out next year and all that. But I think get him to the Greek was really funny. I don't know, like, I just love that movie when I seen it. <laughs> now, the second best movie of 2010 is going to be Iron Man 2. Now, I know some people's not going to agree with me because, I don't know, some people don't like superhero movies. But I think every superhero movie comes out every year should have an impact. Like, with 2008, it was The Dark Knight. And that was a really good movie. Like, that was one of the biggest superhero movies in a little while. Besides Spider-Man 3, which I don't like that much, actually. But yeah, Dark Knight was really good. And I feel like Iron Man 2 was really good. And yes, Iron Man first one was a good superhero movie in 2008. But it is good. So is Incredible Hulk. And I think that's really it. But I loved Iron Man too. Yeah, I was pumped when I went to see him theaters. I seen it the day after it came out. It was just awesome. It's everything you want, and I'm I'm excited for the Avenger movie coming out in 2012. And they're Marvel's just building it up, and they got the Thor movie coming out next year. They got Captain America. They're really getting this together and that's <laughs> exciting and you see more of that in Iron Man 2 the build up to the Avengers so I think they're doing really good and the movie's awesome they had char they had my favorite characters like obviously Iron Man War Machine Black Widow it was awesome and they had like a little Ford, Ford teaser so yeah now the number one movie of this year some people ain't going to agree with me, but 
is this. Inception. Yes. Me and my friends have huge debates about this. Some of them don't even like this movie at all. <laughs> but this is a great movie. Just like The Dark Knight, directed by Christopher Nolan, was great. Same with Batman Begins. Christopher Nolan, once again, pretty much nails an excellent movie, in my opinion. It's so deep, and I understand the whole thing, pretty much. Because I've watched it two times. I was seen in theaters, and I heard that you really had to pay attention, so I paid attention a lot the first time. And it stuck with me. It was such a good movie. I don't know why. It's just... I don't know. There's something about this dream world idea. And going in the different levels. And, you know, d trying to make an inception or whatever. You know, plant this thought in his mind. That he would make his own company. Uh, the character is the guy that played the Scarecrow in Batman, but... I forget his name, but, um, Leonardo DiCaprio was awesome in it, and I'm a bit iffy about him. He's good in Titanic, and he's alright in Shutter Island, but, you know, whatever. But this was a really good movie, and people are not going to agree with my list at all. I know this, but this is how I feel about when I watched all these films this year. And these are the five that stuck out the most. Yes, there's other movies like Tron Legacy, Expendables, Resident Evil Afterlife, um, Harry Potter. Those were all ideas I had. Uh, there was other movies. I can't really remember them. But next year, 2011, will be a great year for movies. We have The Green Hornet, Green Lantern, Scream 4, <coughs> Uh, four, Captain America, X Men, First Class. Um, what else can we We got Cowboys and Aliens. I'm excited for that. I actually read the graphic novel for it. But yeah, that is the top five movies of 2010, everyone. Next up is the top five video games of 2010. Peace out. I'm feeling so fly like a G6.